Right, I thought I'd do another little silly video of um, what mastitis is, because it's very common in dairy cows, and it spreads like bloody wildfire. And you uh, guarantee a cow or so in your shed of a hundred to of two hundred will have it. Um. So basically, mastitis is an infection in the tissue of one or both mammary glands inside the breast. They're often hard, sore inside the teat, breast. Hang on. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, um, basically it blocks the, uh, blocks the milk duct, or the, or, or the bacteria has ended for a break in the skin. Um, you know, if you have, if you have shitty beds, and it goes up into the cow's tissue, then yeah. Um, so yeah, make sure you keep your bedding clean at all times. Um, also known as bovine mastitis, most commonly disease found in the cattle. Mastitis increases subatomic cell count levels. Um, there's different... Hang on. Oh. Right, there's different types of, uh, different types of mastitis. Uh, there's clinical, subclinical, acute, subacute, chronic, contagious and environmental. I'll go for. Oh, I'll just go for that in a minute. Um, yeah. So when you when you when you're in a milking barley and you strip out your cows, obviously you'll have a load of clots coming from a teat or more than one teat. Sometimes it could be um, a bit bloody. Sometimes it can be very smelly. Um, this could do a lot of damage to the teat. You know, if if the mastitis is that bad and it's infected the other really badly. You know, I I think a, a cow could you know literally die from it, or you have to kill a quarter off. Um, if you strip a cow and it's all watery, that's a very bad sign of E. coli. So you've got to really chill out and watch out. I mean, you've got to really watch out for that. Um, subclinical mastitis, ninety percent of all cases, um, the udder seems normal. The milk seems normal, but yeah, I think cell count evaluate. You know, evaluate it. You know, you shot up basically. Then the cow will have low milk input output. Obviously, clinical mastitis is a uh, ten percent of all cases, which you know your udder is inflamed. It's hard. It's sore. The clumps and clots will come out, which is uh, quite <coughs> very sore and painful for the cow. That's why um, you tube the cow after when you've milked her. Um, uh, I can't remember offhand what the tubes are called. Um, but anyway, uh, obviously you got acute, which is... You know, you got a bad milk, the cow's fucking depressed and shit, a bit moping down. Um, chronic is bad milk, but the cow appears to be healthy. Yet again, I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm on about, but I'm just gathering what my little brain has put together. <clears throat> I obviously got like a little diagram. So basically, you got your, you got one of your cow's titties here. These little dots are basically the organisms. The organisms, obviously, you know, after after milking, if you don't dip your cows proper to close the teat, then this could be a proper, you know, a proper common, you know, a proper problem. So make sure your cows' teats are proper, you know, covered in iodine when it's left the parlour, because otherwise, um, it doesn't close up the milk ducks proper but yeah so the organisms invade the udder through the milk through the teat canal so there are your little tiny dots of organisms so the organisms will go up here and go up through the cow titty hole there then they will integrate up the canal and colonize the secretory 
secretory sails so they go up there they'll chill around here for a bit and then they'll slowly head their way up then they'll colonize the colonized organisms produce toxic substances harmful to milk production cells so when they get up here they start fucking around with um the milk producing cells and that will basically that's when all your clots and your all your shit happens there basically um Yeah, so if you go along your beds, make sure your beds are kept clean and tidy. Brush off any shit and milk off the beds. Keep your bedding nice and thick and clean. Um, lots of lime and sawdust mixed in together. Because obviously saw, uh, lime dries the shit out of things. So I think that like, kills all the... Kills all the uh, bacteria and that. I don't know if it burns them or anything, but uh, I'm not quite sure what lime actually physically does. And if it literally dries out the beds that much, it burns the organisms. I organ I I don't know really. Um, yeah, so your bedding is key thing. I know there's other other few things that mastitis can be caused by i think after carving might be one of them but i didn't really get too into that but um yeah make sure your beds are nice and clean make sure the cows are happy the diet's good they live in luxury accommodation and uh, not to stress them out too much because i think stress can have a play with that as well so that's basically my little silly head of explaining what mastitis is oh and obviously yeah make sure your cows are well dipped. well obviously clean your cow titties before you milk them don't over milk them either because that will fuck up their titties as well um yeah make sure they're well sprayed or with the cups got plenty of it around before they leave the parlor because obviously the thicker the gel around the teat end, the harder these little organisms are going to shoot up the canal to fuck around with the cow's titties. And it's a pain in the ass because when a cow gets mastitis, you got to keep her at the tank. Oh, you got to, you know, if you find mastitis day one, you'll tube her for three days but keep her out for five days. So therefore, you're basically, you know, that cow, You, if it's a high-value cow, if, you know, if that cow used to give out fucking 40, 40, 50 litres a day, you know, so if that cow gave out 50 litres a day and it's out of the tank because of mastitis, you're losing, you know, by the time the cow cow's milk out, cow's milk's out, you're losing like 250 litres out of your value, so yeah, you know, that's 250 litres of cow's milk gone down the drain where it could have gone in the tank. And if it's like 30p a litre these days, which they give you per litre of milk, then yeah, it's a lot of, uh, lot of money. So yeah, that's my another one of Darren's little silly videos of understanding what mastitis is. I know like people say, oh yeah, mastitis is just clumps. But, you know, I want to know all the other interesting little facts and diagrams and what it literally actually does. I know that I, my brain will find it hard to process all this. But, yeah. So, yeah. I know my little silly videos are silly, but whatever. Keeps me happy. Right, I better go because baby's bitching and mauling. And I've got to go and give him lovings. Alright, bye.